Hey, so I thought I would make a video to tell um, sort of the story of how I got into Flat Earth because um, that is what's really compelling for me is when I hear um, how people came to this because uh, there are always people that seem to have a lifestyle that supports um, a lot of free time. And I don't, I wouldn't say that I have a lot of free time because I mean, I have four kids, but we homeschool. And so, um, it's not like I have to put focused attention on one thing for a long time. Sometimes I have to sit there and nurse forever. And so I, I'll think about things, especially since I stopped watching TV. Um, anyway, so for me, my sort of entree into this was um, because I'm a vaccine activist here in the Austin area. And, uh, you know, of course, I read a lot of that and I consider myself you know, pretty well read and all the vaccine literature. And I'm in a lot of groups and I have a lot of colleagues and friends who, um, who I really respect and who have excellent information, I feel like are really excellent resources. And so I was really surprised one day when an online contact who I had received what I would consider excellent and highly credible information from started saying things like, space is fake. <laughs> I mean, I, I laugh thinking about it now. But, um, yeah, my father actually used to work for NASA. <laughs> so crazy. Um, and, and I remember telling my husband, like, um, this is so crazy. Why is this colleague saying this? He's not making himself look very credible or smart or so. And yet, I found it intriguing. And, and because I respected the source so much, I decided to investigate his claims. And I can't remember exactly what I searched for, if I saw something else. Um, but of course, I, I, you know, I look at a lot of um, conspiracy and government kind of things as well. Uh, but a lot of this stuff is really new to me. Like I said, I've, I've known about vaccines since 1997. But 9-11 um, stuff I just started learning about last year. And um, my brother has known a lot of this stuff for a long time. And in the family, we sort of always say, oh, crazy Uncle Bobby, you know. And um, so we didn't really listen to him about chemtrails or any of that other stuff. Mainly because, and I think a lot of people will resonate with this idea, um, we thought that it's impossible, you know, because we have these beautiful hearts. And, and we imagine that other people are like that too, that almost everyone is like that. Um, unfortunately, it's not the case. People are uh, People are beautiful for the most part, and I still think... And I'll maintain that even like the elite and Illuminati and whoever, I mean, I don't, I don't go too far into that stuff because like I said, I have the kids and it feels a little scary for me. Although I'm open to all the truths, no matter how scary, I'm just going to proceed slowly because of that. Um, but I still think all of those people have, and I know actually that those people have immortal souls and they're beautiful in the same way that we all are. Um, but I think that there's like a, a veneer over them because they have so much fear that they're attracting this really um, dark energy. Dark matter. No, I'm just kidding about that. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was saying uh, we didn't really believe my brother or anything like that. and uh, But then, you know, I started looking at this stuff from from being inspired by the vaccine friend. But he wasn't somebody I knew in person, so this was a couple of days, actually, because I'm always amazed when people say, oh, I looked at the flat earth, and then I was a flat earther. I, I wasn't. Um, it actually took me several months to to really make this realization, and I realized also that it's, you know, letting go of a lot of programming as well, um, because then it's easy to see. Um, so I started looking at that stuff and um, really resonating with it as truth because I, I do feel one gift that I have because I recently, like in my, like my mid-30s, my mid-30s, <laughs> decided 
to speak the truth. And that means um, it, it was like a continuum. I mean, I, I think we, I mean, we're all humans. We all have lied. Um, but I think that I was much more comfortable lying than telling the truth in most instances. I have a south node in Gemini, so that should give you some clue about that. But I'm moving towards my destiny, which is the truth. And, and I realized the more I began to speak the truth, the more truth began to come to me. Um, and that's what I tell the kids all the time, too. And I didn't just instantly start speaking the truth at all times because um, it was only this year. As I mentioned, I have the four kids. It was only this year that I, with great shame, actually, and openness and um, that I revealed to them that there's no Santa and, and all that. And actually, because all of them believed from ages two, well, I have a two-year-old, a six-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 12-year-old. Even the 12-year-old still believed in Santa. Because in my heart, I was like, oh, I believe in Santa. And I mean, I still believe in fairies and so, but those probably actually are real, just at a different density. But um, no, all that Santa stuff is not, it's designed to make, I think, that it's designed to um, make our kids feel comfortable with lies. And it's designed to make us adults feel comfortable lying to our children because we lie to ourselves when we do that that this is okay, and it's not, and I, and I, for me, because that's the other thing, um, I feel like there's a real sense of judgment for a lot of people who are coming into this, and, and it's possible that it comes from the necessary step of anger that we feel, um, with the realization that we've been lied to for so long. I was 41 when I realized that we're not on a spinning ball. And I still will have, like, these outbursts to myself. Like, we'll be in the car, and I'll go, oh! And the kids will be like, Mom, it's okay. Because they know why that I'm in this internal thing of, I can't believe they told me it was a globe. And, um, I mean, it's hard, and it's really a process. And um, Anyway, so I got into it from vaccines, and... Uh, really started to look at all the things critically. And for me, the big turning points were uh, reading Zetetic Astronomy and um, looking at some of the videos of Eric Dubay. His are really great. And um, my favorite now, though, what I, that I'm recommending the most is the, uh, the one from Marty Leeds that he just came out with. It's, it's really um, where I think a lot of people who I deal with on a daily basis um, are resonating sort of there because it's not, I mean, I'm definitely making a return to the Bible and looking at all those things, which I think are, are beautiful truths that definitely were hidden away from me because I was invited to step away from all that stuff. It feels like from the culture. Um, yeah, so I, but I do think the process is different for everyone. And I also want to issue an invitation to other people to tell the story of how they got into this. Uh, so that we can find others who are resonating similarly um, to really feel like, okay, this, this feels right to me because we all have this beautiful ability to check in with ourselves. And because I tell my kids all the time, because I want them to cultivate it, try this idea on and, and, uh, and, and let it sit in your resonance. Does this feel like the truth to you? And that was a major thing for me because I look at the sun and I look at the stars. we got a telescope. We're looking at all this stuff, curvature, measuring, and so I'm making a video. Um, and so it's all coming into all of our awarenesses. But even for my kids, there's a little bit of having to let go because uh, there's so much programming in TV and stuff on YouTube, which they don't watch a lot of TV, but they do – Taking a lot of Minecraft stuff um, from YouTube, and there's a ton of globe stuff in there still. Um, anyway, so I hope this is a good starting point, and um, and that we can all talk about this stuff more in the future, and of course meet more people in person because this is really uh, difficult and isolating. So. Um, I love all of you seekers of truth, and I love the people who are still sleeping. And I think it's really important not to um, push forward on this sense of judgment. 
And, um, you know, I, I speak for myself. I, I, I'm knowledgeable on a lot of subjects, but I'm not good at visualizing things. And some of the things like the sun at the poles, the poles, um, the midnight sun and those things, I had to watch those videos like 20 times to visualize it and to understand it. And I mean, I'm not stupid. And none of you is either because we're all endowed with these beautiful gifts of discernment. But for a lot of us, the muscles are weak and we and atrophied from disuse. And we really need to cultivate these gifts. But as we do, they will grow. That's what I've experienced a lot because I'm having critical thinking all over the place. It's really nice and I'm thankful for it and I'm grateful every day that it is increasing in me every day. Um, and the talk about globe heads and so because like 10 minutes ago we were all globe heads and so uh, let's all have compassion for the people who are still sleeping and I think it's especially hard like for some of us in our in our families where um, you know, especially there might be name calling or belittlement or, or um, you know, especially where the children are concerned. And so, because of course I get the comments of don't have children. Maybe I'll make a video about that. <laughs> a ranting video. Let's all love each other. And I'm ex so excited to hear other people's stories because um, we're all beautiful angels here having this angelic gift of an experience. Um, and I'm so grateful to have been connected with so many of you. I love you.